Hello once again YouTube and welcome to another Halo Megablocks review by the SS Motion. So today I'll be reviewing another Megablocks Halo Universe Metal Series diecast set and today I'm looking at the UNSC Warthog which is item number 96995 and currently retails at 10 to 15 pounds. So there are only three figures included in this set and only one actually has a functionality outside of the Warthog which is fine. So we'll start with UNSC. First up we have the Spartan. Now this is in red colour with black on things like the hands, the back and the head and has a gold visor. Now this is sitting down to operate the warthog in the driver's seat and can only be used for that. It obviously can't be uh, used on an actual battlescape. Still a very nice figure and the other one that's this similar to that is the marine. Now this is standing up, has some really nice uh, black detailing on the arms, a lot of black detailing on the head only one side of the head is actually really red. I think it's a mud or smoke effect, but it's quite nice. And uh, it has the d painting detail on the chest. is very poor. Half of it seems to be black, but then half of it has been left unpainted, which is a bit bad. But uh, a nice figure, and it has a black backpack and a gold visor. It also has a little stand on the bottom we can see here which is used on the Warthogs, I'll explain in a minute. And the really nice figure in the set is the Diecast Metal Elite, which has an energy sword and the detailing on the sculpt is amazing. It's number four and has the Megalox logo printed on the bottom and is just a really, really nice detailed metal figure. Moving on to the Warthog, uh, now before I actually got this, the, my favourite Diecast uh, set was the Scorpion. This is amazing. Now this is absolutely incredible. For any fan of Halo to have this pocket sized warthog with so much detail is just phenomenally awesome. So, you know, we're going to go over as much detail as I can. Please comment if you want any more detail and I'll try and go into it in the comments below. So, let's start with the actual design. This is designed after the Le the Megablox Warthog and has the exact same design, the same little details on it and the exact same design with these nice little intricate uh, Megablox prints all around the vehicle and you know it's exactly the same design the it has four wheels which uh, operate along this uh, hinge here which is really nice and it has a nice back plate and a really nice 360 rotating turret has some really nice designs like the plastic antenna at the back and some really nice uh, see-through visor some really nice detailing there now the main thing I like about this set, as I've mentioned with all the diecast sets, is it's not got any stickers, which I hate with Mega Blocks. This is all printed detail. There's some really nice detail, this step here, some detailing there, with these logos here, and on there, the UNSC logo there, and uh, symmetrical on the other side, and some nicer warning stickers at the back. Really nice design, really, really nice. Now the Marine has a hole, as I've mentioned here, and that hole can insert into this pin here, and he very nicely operates the turret. It's not like he's slightly off operating, he perfectly grabs hold of the turret, and the Spartan, which I'm very impressed with, perfectly holds onto the wheel. I didn't think he would, because, you know, the Wraith and the Scorpion didn't actually, they, they had drivers, but they didn't actually involve anything for them to hold onto. I thought it would be a bit inaccurate, but no, he holds onto the wheel very nicely, and it looks very, very authentic. And this Warthog is just really nice. It's got another piece here. If you get the Banshee set, you can get a plastic th see-through rod to have him flying over the battlescape. And, you know, there's some really nice designs. I would strongly recommend this vehicle, as I think it's an incredible thing and a must for any Halo collector. And we finally have these two base plates. Now these base plates are the exact same base plates included in all the other sets and have a really good functionality. They can all be connected together in various different ways like so. They have these pins here for the uh, rods to be attached into. They have these little Mega Blocks prints as well which is really nice but a standard Mega Blocks design on the bottom. You get two of these 4x2 pieces which you can insert into here and very cleverly use it to connect to any other base plate so you can expand and you get an extra one just in case and you know you can expand and then display. So for about 10 to 15 pounds you get a great deal here, I would strongly recommend it. You get a really nice warthog with two figures to actually add to the, uh, you know, realisticness. You get a really nice diecast elite that's very, very nice. And you get two battlescape pieces and the connectors to connect them together. So this is a really nice expansion to your Mega Blocks Halo Universe series and I would stro strongly
strongly recommend it for only 10 to 15 pounds. So this was another Halo Megablocks review by the SS Motion. Please like, favourite and subscribe if you enjoy what you see and we'll see you next video.